we ruined uh, oh probably about 10 ounces so thought I had it figured out but I guess not so Hate to say it, but even with our ice bath, um, yeah, we basically we ruined uh, oh probably about ten ounces. So thought I had it figured out, but I guess not. So, but the good thing is we it lasted long enough. I was able to get all of the um, burns coated, so they got their first coat on them. We'll mix up some more. I'm not mixing up 16 ounces anymore. Um, so we'll mix up some more after this sets. We'll go ahead and uh, recode it again. And see where that takes us. But this is, uh, yeah, this is no good.
Now the wax we're using for the first coat is a uh, restorer wax because we're just really trying to uh, get as good a shine as we possibly can. Um, right here we found a little spot that um, we needed to sand out and there's another spot right here. I don't know if you can see it or not. But this must have been a spot where we had um, not put a waxed gel coat and some of the buffing pad was able to get down into that. So we'll come back, we'll sand this out and uh, just do that one spot. Buffing this out here and we've come across an area of concern. I don't know how well you can see this here. Um, I'm not sure if this is uh, some gel coat that never catalyzed all the way and I, I just got some of the fibers from the buffer stuck in there because it's, you can feel it's definitely proud of the surface. Um, so we're going to have to we'll hit this with some sandpaper and we'll see if this comes out. Um, you can't see it as you're buffing, you will see like these grooves. Okay, these are just things that we we didn't see um, that we can see now. There's one up there. So we can just go ahead and, and hit them with uh, some sandpaper. We'll probably start with like 600 on that. But uh, this is definitely a concern here. So let's see what we can do with that. Alright, this is some 600 here. Yeah, you can see it. There's definitely some pock marks in there. Yeah, and this is right about where the uh, the rail's gonna go. So we don't want to clean that up. Uh, just to give you an idea of the uh, the kind of shine that we're able to get off this. Hopefully you can see it with the camera. Now this was rolled. Uh, it was hit with 220, 320, 400, 600, 800, 1000, 1200, 1500, 2000. Then it was rubbing compounded and then it was waxed so you can see I've spent a bit of time on this stuff but uh, the shine is worth it now it's not perfect um, I'll be an old man if I try to make this thing perfect but uh, it's pretty good So let's just finish the other sides and then we gotta touch up this side over here. 
Um, and this is the last piece and we'll, we'll finally, finally be done. So I'm not sure if you can see this or not, but right here was that, that problem we were having on the side of the console. And we sanded through enough that we're starting to get a little burn. And basically all a burn is, is, is just the, um, you're able to see through the gel coat. So I think we're gonna, we'll go ahead and we'll recoat this and see if we can get that straightened out. But that, that's the only spot on the console. Um, the rest of the console is, as you can see here, nice and shiny. Everything's pretty shiny. So, one more repair. Alright, I didn't bore you with uh, watching me put gel coat on again. But what I wanted to do is show you um, what we did. So, you can see right here, uh, this is, I put this on real thick. So, this was brushed on um, real thick. You can see most of the, most of it actually. moved out quite a bit. Uh, so we got there. We did this little spot here. We did this. This right here actually came out real heavy. But that's going to be some sanded. Um, so this is all unwaxed. Up some more. Um, this time it'll have wax in it. This will be a final coat. We're going to put this on heavy as well. Um, the reason I keep saying we're putting it on heavy is because I don't want to burn through again. Uh, we also, we did this spot right here. Um, you can see right here, just to give you an example, that that's a real hard edge. So I'm going to come over this. I'm just going to hit it with the roller just a little tiny bit. And that's going to bring th this little bit less noticeable. Um, then when we sand it, we won't have to sand as hard. Um, we also have a little spot right here. So we hit that. This is a little dot. I got to get that off. So, all right, we're ready to go ahead and uh, we'll mix up some more. And this is going to have wax in it this time. And uh, I'll tell you, this is this was probably the best coat of gel coat that I've I've mixed. Um, it lasted a long time. Um, I really the only stuff that I ended up wasting was stuff that I didn't use and um, got hard so that's what you want maybe I finally figured it out or maybe not <laughs> we'll see what happens this time let's go mix it up okay this will be our final coat with wax and we're gonna use the foam roller
I'm gonna have to sand them off. They're gonna have to be hard to sand, so. All right, so it's been uh, a little more than 24 hours. You can get an idea of what we have. Um, looks pretty rough. But we will get this sanded down till it's nice and smooth. So I'm actually, I'm, I'm happy with it, believe it or not. Um, yeah, I, I mixed up two coats of, two different batches of gel coat. The first one was uh, no wax. The second one had wax. The um, the neat thing about it is both coats actually cured. So that's good. Um, it's been a while since I can say I did two different batches in a row and they, they both came out good. So... Um, yeah, this is, this is going to be a good example because you can really, you can really see how rough this is. Uh, there's a lot of people that will only spray gel coat and, and that's, that's fine. I understand that because if you have the facility where you can spray, um, it, it's a lot easier. You know, you're, you're spraying on a, a smooth coat to start with. Uh, you're not getting this where it almost looks like it was put on with a spoon um, but the bottom line is is that if you don't have uh, the ability to spray on gel coat you can practically put it on with a spoon and uh, we'll get this thing smooth hopefully without burning through again but we put we put some good coats on here so we'll see what happens all right let me get to sanding okay so we're gonna we're going to start out with, uh, I'm going to go a little heavier than I was hoping to start out with, but we're going to start out with some 220, um, just to maybe get some of these high spots knocked down. Uh, I'm going to try not to go too, uh, too deep with the 220, but worst comes to worst, I can mix up some more gel coat, right? And the key is, you know, areas like this where there's no gel coat, I don't, with no new gel coat, I don't want to hit those areas. Looks like we're going to continue on with the little sander because I'm out of sanding discs for the big sander. But we're losing our light here, so we'll get as much done as we can. Okay, that's about all we're gonna get done today because we're 
we are starting to run out of light but we're flat so next thing is we'll hit this with some uh, 400 600 800 1200 1500 and 2000 little rubbing compound and wax her up Okay, here goes 800. material. But we are removing the scratches from the previous material. So that's 800. 15.
key is to remove these pits before we start hitting this corner because if we start hitting this corner we're going to wear down the gel coat on that corner before we have this all, all the way wore down that's where we're going to get burns Okay, we just hit our edges, and this is ready for compounding and wax. All right, I'm sure you remember how rough this was. This looked like it was put on with a spoon. Um, you can see it's got a little bit of a shine to it right now. Uh, I don't have anything to wipe this off with. Dirty hands. Uh, once we put some rummy compound on here and some wax, this thing is going to look like it was born smooth. <laughs>